Hello. Today we're going to look at a first grade addition strategy with my dog, Scoop. First, let's check out a comic called The Adventures of Math Boy and Math Girl vs. Grumpy Math Guy. So Grumpy Math Guy says, I can't even watch you kids do math. You should just know the answer. And Math Boy goes, I get so mad when I can't do it easy as Grumpy Math Guy. Math Girl says, Chill, Math Boy. Sometimes it's easiest to add in parts. I can add chickens with chickens and cows with cows, and then I can figure out how many animals we have. Math Boy says, Oh, so just add ones with ones and tens with tens. The cow says, I love moo ath. So the strategy we're going to study today is called addition by place value. And it's really just taking ones with ones and tens with tens. So when I have 16 plus 2, I know that means I have 1 10 and 6 ones. So what I'm going to do is add my ones with my ones and my tens with my tens. 6 plus 2 is 8. I only have 1 10. And my last step is to add my tens and ones together. 16 plus 2 is 18. I could do that strategy again with bigger numbers. Now I want to add 29 plus 5. So I need to break 29 down into tens and ones. And then I'm going to take my ones and add them together. 9 plus 5 is 14. And I'm going to take my answer then, 14, and add it to 20. From there, I could even break down the 14 further if I needed. I could say 14 is made up of a 10 and four ones. So I can break this down as far as I need to and just add things that are in the same place, ones with ones and tens with tens. So Scoop goes rough. I'm going to add ones with ones and tens with tens. So to do that, we should decompose our numbers into ones and tens. 14 is made up of a 10 and four ones. 25 is made up of two tens and five ones. So then I'm going to add my ones together. 4 plus 5 equals 9. And I'm going to add my tens together. 1 ten plus 2 tens equals 3 tens. And then my final step is to add my tens and my ones. I have 3 tens and 9 ones. So my sum is 39. This method is also called partial sums because what we are doing is we are just adding parts and parts and parts until we get the whole. Likewise, I can do that for numbers that have the same place values. So 18 and 15 both have 110 and they have a different number of ones, 8 and 5. So what I can do now is I can add my tens and my ones. So I'm going to add 8 plus 5, which makes 13. And that makes me a little nervous because I got more than 10 ones there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to decompose that 13 as well, and I'm going to break it into 10 and 3. Now I'm going to collect my tens. I have one 10, two tens, and a second 10. So I've got to add three tens together, which equals 30. And my last step is to add my tens and my ones together. 30 tens plus 3 ones equals 33. So by adding parts and parts and parts, I'm able to get the whole. This strategy always works for subtract, also works for subtraction, because it's just the opposite of addition. I can take away from the tens and take away from the ones. So let's follow that idea. I need to decompose 35 into 3 tens and 5 ones, decompose 14 into 1 ten and 4 ones, and now I'm going to take tens from tens and ones from ones. 30 minus 10 is 20. 5 ones minus 4 ones is 1 1. So I then add both my differences. 20 and 1 are my differences, so 20 plus 1 is 21. And that means 14 is 21 numbers away from 35. That's the difference. 
can do that again. With 28, that's made up of two tens and eight ones, and I'm gonna take away from that one ten and five ones. So the difference between my tens, two tens minus one ten is one ten. Eight ones minus five ones is three ones. And now I need to add together my differences to get the total difference. 10 ones plus, I'm sorry, 110 plus 3 ones is 13. So the difference between 28 and 15 is 13. I got a bonus question for Scoop. And if she gets the bonus right, she gets a treat. And the question is, does our strategy of place value work with this question? Why or why not? So when I break it down by place value, 22 is made up of two tens and a two, 15 is made up of one ten and five ones, and if I do my subtraction of tens, that gives me ten ones. Here's my problem. If I have two ones, can I take away five ones? If I have two of something, I don't even have five to take away from it. So again, sometimes our place value strategy doesn't work. So you need to be careful to choose a strategy that works for that particular problem. Have a good day.